so here I am going to tear down this lithium battery let me remove this cover so as you see it's 3.6 volt non rechargeable battery always remember if it's lithium ion it's rechargeable and if it's only lithium it's non rechargeable Well, this case is a steel or some other alloys. It shows zero volt, so it's purely dead. And now I will open the case to see inside. here I made a small cut and it smells too bad better to wear a mask while opening the battery as you can see the gas leaking out of this case and it smells like hydrochloric acid The gas continued to come out for next 20 minutes and after 20 minutes it is stopped and now it's safe to open. It contains the chemical called lithium thionyl chloride where thionyl chloride is uh, the sulfur oxide with two atoms of chlorine. Let me empty this case. And here you can see 
a small grain of sulfur as I earlier said this battery contains this sulfur oxide hence it may be unreacted uh, okay now I will pour these chemicals in this beaker and I will put the two leads for anode and cathode and then we will see if we can generate electricity As you can see the smoke liberated from the solution as there is still some lithium remained unreacted hence this reaction is exothermic hence uh, releasing uh, the heat it reached around 65 degrees celsius let us see the voltage generated with this battery it's around 1.3 volt which is quite low uh, hello everyone my name is Roman Sotagorov I am work group leader at Kochatov Synthesis Orientation Source in Moscow uh, working at uh, X-ray structure analysis beamline uh, with power to fraction and ensure to subscribe to this channel okay. thanks science <laughs>